we're going to have the Atomy Vision session. Let us welcome uh, the GPTW most respected leader, CEO Park Han Gil, to the stage with a big round of applause. Please welcome him with the biggest round of applause. Hello, nice to meet you all. Well, not only Oro, but in Seoul, many people are gathered. So Seoul, hello. Wow, a lot of people came. Nice to meet you. And Suwon, Labi Hall. Hello, nice to meet you. And Jeonseon, the Jeollado area, the province, welcome. And Busan. Vexco, people have gathered. Nice to meet you all. And Tegu, hello. Hello, people in Tegu, and let's say hello to the people in Ulsan. Nice to meet you. So, with you, we are streaming live to diverse locations, and not only in Korea, but to overseas. A lot of members are joining us through video. I just came back from my Europe trip and to Turkey, Romania, Spain. In Turkey, uh, is, uh, well, Turkey is known as the brother country to Korea. So in Turkey, uh, we, we met those who participated in the Korean War, the veterans, and we made some donations there. Uh, we are continuously doing the donations. Since uh, the chairman itself, okay, we donated about 100K. So a lot has passed away. A lot of veterans have passed away, but uh, we are trying to take care of their children. So among the countries that we have penetrated to 16 countries that helped us during the Korean War, we try not to make profit but to uh, donate or to give back to all, uh, give back all to them. So that's the promise I made. So when uh, Korea was going through hardship to those thankful countries, we should always give back to their succeeders and the descendants because as I go to overseas trips I get the feeling that Korea is a really good country to live so to the country the political system is really important I think that's the idea I get uh, the democratic and the free um, market that's how uh, what made the big difference between the north and the south side of Korean Peninsula. For, uh, more than 30 years ago, I was visiting a lot of countries such as uh, the U.S. and other countries and I was selling the auto particles. And there were people asking, I mean, looking at me, thinking like, are you trying to uh, illegally immigrate here? But now, as if I go overseas, Korean passport is receiving special treatment. So if I go to a certain country, for about 10 countries in the world, they have a fast track for uh, Korean passports, like VIPs. So there are lots of um, circumstances I see that. And when I was in Hong Kong, I think they were uh, not able to come up with a fast track for the Koreans yet. But since I was in line with a Korean passport, the employee there um, called me saying, Korean passport, Korean passport. So he uh, waved at me. Uh, so And he guided me to the line where the air crew's staff members or the VIPs go. Uh, and I was able to go through that lane. 
Well, of course, I think uh, the the corporate members will will guide me or escort me with the swell uh, vehicles and things uh, because I think even though I tell them not to do so I think the members all are doing a lot of, pe of effort to um, well escort me so that more members will come so what kind of system a country has made the difference between the South and the North Korea. So if the, well, I think every, uh, if you think that if a country says that I will make you live without any um, circumstances, I think that is a lie and that's true. Let's say they um, give you a uh, good clothing, and all that, but the Democratic Party of um, Korea, the North side, as you can see, is fall poor. And South Korea, on the other hand, gave freedom to the individuals to make a living by themselves. And President Kennedy said, what can a country do for, a, for the people is not what you should think, but you should rather think of what you can do for the country. So do, do not depend, do not try to depend on the country because country, of course, can help you make a living or not starve, but they cannot make you rich. So you should think of yourself as trying to be rich. And you need to help other people by paying a taxes. That, that's why you need to think about from now on. And then if you live in that country, that country will be rich. But if a country say that they, they will make you rich, the company will go poor. Look at the example of the uh, South America. Recently, I visited a lot of European countries and I feel, I, feel, I feel a lot because when I visited European country 30 years ago, it was totally different from Korea and they were like advanced countries. But now, this time, when I visited European countries, I felt like the European country's development was plateaued. Now Korea is making a lot of dramatic changes and we are now surpassing European countries in many different fields. So while you're doing this business, you need to follow the principle of the free economy, which means that you should never depend on your sponsors. And if you just sit there and if you are just bothering your sponsor, you will fail. But you need to think about making success by yourself. So whether you need to say to your sponsor, hey sponsor, I believe you will be successful thanks to me. This is why you need to say to your sponsor, and in that way you will be successful. If you are just still there, sit still, and you are just waiting for others' assistance, you will go fail. And most of you will fail because of your mentality, weak mentality. Oh, I shouldn't go really strong like this because I'm at a mere beginning. Anyways. I learned a lot and I was touched and I could feel that now Korea's global status is really high. I visited Romania in Eastern Europe. Actually, this was my first time visiting Romania and when I visited there, I could learn a lot of old histories and old cultures and I could also learn their heritage and because of their system, because of their communist, um, socialist community, they could not make any um, economic growth. But these days, their economies are regrowing. And now the ties between Romania and Korea are getting better throughout a lot of projects. And they're also a lot of interested in Korean products. And I know that uh, it was all thanks to the K-culture and K-pop. 
and there are a lot of like K-pop lovers. So thanks to them, I can see there are increasing interest in Korean cosmetic product. Even myself as a Korean, sometimes can't believe that how come Korea's culture could be loved this much. Sometimes I could not really um, understand that, but anyway, a lot of people are really loving Korean culture in K-pop. Not only that, K culture, including K food. Are the one that could be recognized so far. We've been consuming Korean culture and good Korean food. I think it's would be better than the steaks. When we eat steaks, all of the garnish will be like cheap potato chips and potato fries. But rather, Korean foods are like fermented foods, so it's would be better in terms of the health. So I think it is a time that the Korean foods are also being recognized by the global people. I believe that there are more to learn about Korean culture and Korean food. If our uh, our culture our cultures are more um, introduced, I believe it will be more loved. Actually, I'm not a good singer, but uh, if I am a good singer, I I believe that I will I might be loved a lot. So, but actually, I always want to be a good singer. So, I learned singing and I did it. I sang in a lawyer leaders club meeting. But I did it, but I don't think people really liked it. Anyways, uh, among a lot of songs, I really love to. Uh, listen to Korea traditional music, which is called Chang. Korea's traditional music, Chang, has a unique charm, and I believe that not many uh, uh, European or uh, foreign people know and understand the uniqueness of Chang. But I can see that there there are a lot of K-pop songs that embodies and that encompass the unique charm of Korea traditional music, and I hope more of Korean charm could be invited and included in the K-pops. I also visited Spain and I also visited one um, kingdom and palace in uh, Romania. There I could see the enormous power of the uh, of Spain because it was all decorated with gold. Uh, as you are aware of, I built a, built a house in Sejong city and sometimes I feel like, uh, is it too much or is it too elegant or is, is it too uh, extravagant? But when I visited there, uh, all of my concerns were just gone. And compared to this palace, my house was nothing. So my concerns are just gone. Back then, uh, the palace and the Spain got all of the power and I also think that what if they have a lot of the a lot of colonies i believe that if they did spain will have become much more powerful countries because back then they dominated a lot of countries but they didn't have a lot of countries so that they could not expand their powers now because they, uh, well, since they didn't have their colonies, the colonies want to be dummy, want to be independent. So they, I think they lose their powers. So those of the countries have similar um, status in terms of the fi finance, and the GDP is about 40 million, which is similar to Korea. Anyways, in Spain, there are a lot of people eager to start anime business, and I can meet a lot of people in Spain. So I visited European countries, and I have a lot of expectation over European countries. Then how come anime became to be loved by a lot of European people and a lot of global people, I found the reason. That's because I designed it as such. At the very first time I made this company, when I started this business, when I started, when I established this business at the beginning, I made a catchphrase, catchphrase that Atomy will rewrite the history of network marketing. 
back then I lived in a small apartment, small、um, area, and or small office. the The size of the office is、uh, like the that of the stage, and we also had the storage. We had the accounting office, and we got a lot of department in the small office. Back then, we got the catchphrase saying, "We will write the history of network marketing." So I believe that the history of that word marketing will be changed before and after Atomy. I think it was、uh, pretty arrogant back then, but anyway, I started like that under that catchphrase. I believe that th that catchphrase I made I made is now being realized. We reached one trillion one of sales recently. And among the other global network marketings, back then we were among the top twenties. And back then, I attend the CEO council of the network marketing companies. In that council, there were owner of Amway, Nuskin, Herbalife, and and Avon, and. So I could meet a lot of founder and the、uh, CEO and the owners of the door-to-door -door sales and network marketings, and I was invited there. And I was granted forty minutes for a presentation because I was I was there for the first time, and on my presentation I said that, like this. Back then, Amway sales was one ten times、uh, bigger than ours. There, there was a chairman of Amway named Devos, and there was a chairman of Nuskin, and there was chairman of、uh, Overlife. In front of all of them, I said, "When I establish Atomy." I didn't make it to compete with all of you. I don't think all of you are my competitors. Then, who is your competitor? For me, my competitor is Walmart, Amazon, Alibaba. So I will compete with the other distribution companies in the quality and in the price. I will be. Competing those discounting and those distribution distribution company, and that's how that's how I establish its company. You all say that this is a big business, but I don't agree with it. This is what I said in front of them, and I I could see that their eyes are getting bigger. It means they are that they are surprised because they all all say that that we're marketing is a big business and this. Business is getting bigger, but someday some stranger like me came there and say this is not a big business. So they said and they answer like, "Who are you, and what do you think this business is?" So I replied like this: Our honorable Amway established earlier than Walmart because it has history of 60, 70 years old. Because it it has established earlier than、um, Amazon and Alibaba, but but Walmart is making six trillion one of sales, and Amazon is making five five trillion, and Alibaba is making twenty two to three hundred trillion. But how come the First runner, Honorable Amway, is only making ten trillion. But how come you could say that you are a big business? So I said like this in front of all of the chairmen. That's why I don't think that the direct selling companies in front of here are not、uh, are my competitors. Are you proud of me? Are you proud of your chairman? Of course, I think I was arrogant because their sales were one ah、uh, 
10 times bigger than that of ours. So in the break time, the chairman Devos came, came to me and he said, uh, may I sit next to you? So I said, of course, please have a seat. And he sat next to me and he said that actually I wanted to learn more about anatomy. So I said, oh, actually, Rich Divas, your family, your father, the founder, is like an ancestor of our industry. And you should know them. Dick Devos and Javed Andal, they are the founder of this, com this industry, so you need to also remember this name. So I answer, I wrote a book written by your fam father, and that's how I learned about this di direct selling industry. Without your father, uh, this business will not exist. This is what I think. So whenever I talk about Amway, I always said that my honorable Amway. And in front of my Adami members, I always said my honorable Amway. And I answer like this, and he... And I also continue, I think there's nothing you will learn from me. I think I need to learn from you. And I could learn his humidity, humility, and great characteristic. And I could learn a lot of good characteristic from him because I was so arrogant back then. And that chairman, like said that I don't think that you are my competitors. Uh, if I were him, I might think that he is so arrogant. But he rather he came to me and he like say something to me. So I think uh, he got a lot of good uh, characteristics and he got his humility. So we talk. We start talking about how we could compete with a, a description company. And I also said that we try to cut the cost in order to compete with the distrib distribution company. They have the cost and they have the manufacturer manufacture cost and they have the maintenance cost and we try to compare all of the cost in order to cut the cost from our side and this is our strategy we try to cut the cost from these kind of processes and cut the cost so we our uh, cost po portion could be uh, double than that of the other competitors and Speaking of the personnel costs, personnel expenses, it is it account for two percent of the entire cost. We have one thousand employees in Korea, and their personnel expenses account for two percent of the overall management cost. It is, I think, it, I must say, it is miraculous. Do you think we need to have them or not? We must have them. Without our employees, you need to do all of the work by yourself. And then in order to do that, you need to pay more than 2% of the management cost. I think it is, it is whooping better to pay 2% and let them work hard for all of you. For example, in speaking of the package cost, all of that package cost could be uh, similar. And the payments and the card payment um, commission will be the same. But we try to lower the internal management cost compared to the competitors. It is only a one, a one second, one fifth, or one tenth. So we tighten. We try to tighten our management cost. But at the same time, we try to give as as much as salary to them. Our average salary is about 100 million Korean won. It, it is an average. I think it is uh, pretty good. And when they come to uh, for the New recruit, new recruits, their salary is about 60 million Korean won. We manage that at 2%, not because we give them less money. Rather, we provide a general salary, but at the same time, we are managing our managing cost uh, at an affordable uh, ratio. And one of my goal is to make our company uh, giving the most the largest salary amount to our staff members. I need your agreement. If you say that 2% is too high, you need to cut it to 1%. If you say like this, I don't think 2% is really high. 
2% is okay. And if it is within 2%, If we increase the sale by 5%, the salary will also increase by five, five times. Of course. At this time, at that time, our employees will get the highest amount of salary in the world. So whenever they meet our members, our employees might feel really happy because they are getting the high salary in the world thanks to all of the members. They might feel really proud of them and they might be really proud of being a part of Atomy. That's why I try to give as many salaries to all of the employees because I want them to serve our members well and in an effective manner. That's why a lot of uh, like HQ employees are going to the centers to do the uh, Go 100 campaign. They are doing this because their chairman did it before. When I founded this company at first, I did all of the things, all of the jobs by myself because uh, the, I have uh, the, the number of the employees were not enough. Iksan, Jeonju. Hong Yong-gyu, Imperial Master, Masan, Centers. Uh, if they needed me, I just ran there. And I just, uh, I try to introduce the company, uh, compensation plan. As such, I went to Teju, Iksan, Jeonju, Suncheon, Yeosu, Jinju. Masan, Changwon, Busan, Ulsan, Gyeongju, Daegu, every week. Sometimes I did the lecture for four times a day. I stay all of night. And I also, I sometimes slept in sauna because I didn't have enough money. Sauna is the one and only place that men and women could sleep together legally. They could do anything they want in sauna. I think it is one of the uh, good characteristic of K-culture and the, the sauna culture need to be spread it into the world. So all of the members I think need to stay all of night. It's sauna, the gym bang all together. So that's how I went on site since the design is done and we developed the product and also the system itself. So we should not try to work, but we should streamline the work. That's how we work best. That, that's how we cut down the work or the processes. And now uh, since we can do all well, we help other members. We go on site and help them. The people who are making products, they're different from the educated lecturers because they're the ones who made the product themselves. They made the presenting materials. When they go on site and lecture, do you think they'll be good or not? They will have to be good and they can answer any questions. So as we do the work, uh, you should always ask for others to come. You should eagerly demand your, um, but there are a lot of people who hesitate. There are people who think to themselves, do the um, people do not like us because, so they're not coming. But no, if you cry out for the help, then the help will be needed, a given. I don't know where I'm going with this, but So I'm a little bit lost, but Atomy should become a company that beats the ordinary logistics company as well. The marketing, the, um, well, why did the direct selling become a problem? Because at the multi-level selling was about um, 
getting the investment and investments from other where because there were um in order to become a, a multi-level marketing company, you have to get the accreditation from the um, government, but the companies that did not receive the accreditation uh, did the financial pyramid selling, and that was on the news. But now, until now, the legal term itself is to pyramid um, marketing. So now what we would like to say is member direct selling marketing. So we say we're not pyramid, but we are our member direct selling that's the term we use so the demand for changing the term was going on for a while but I was one of the person that was against the will because well in our industry there is a lot of problem it wasn't work if we change the frame itself but we have to change the core after changing the core we have to change the uh, change the title we call it the uh, member direct selling but if there's accidents happening uh, then um, we can we can't just change the cover then by changing the cover won't change the aspect of the people so we have to change the content itself and then change the cover but because of Atomy, the social view started to change. So those inspection organizations, the, the group that does the work of the police, that is Free Trade Commission, Fair Trade Commission. So they have the jurisdiction, uh, the juridical power, which means that they can halt our uh, operation without any uh, agreement from other stakeholders. In Korea, there are more than 10 million, tens of millions of companies, but only a few receive the acquisition because they should be legally legit and have the system. That's why when there's an the inspection, there are less uh, companies that can come up with those criteria. So when we first applied for that acquisition, the result did not come out for more than 10, uh, more than a few years. I asked them why won't they give us a result. But they said, because you're a pyramid company. But since constantly we asked for the results, the results eventually came. But uh, as the professors for the inspection came to the on-site and they were like they were asking for CCs even though they're a pyramid company but after visiting our company their well view a little bit changed because uh, by la biannually they always go on an inspection but uh, I saw the faces of the professors changing uh, and they were telling me, uh, we are here because we heard that Atom is doing well. And at the third inspection or the due diligence, um, but at the first and the second, the uh, woman professor came. We, they did not select her to come, but they were uh, selected to come. So I was saying, I will go along with you for the inspection. And they, they would say, no, you can go do your job. It's because at first they 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 themselves were a big burden on us but now I was able to see they changed they saw me as a, a burden on their work so what do you think this network marketing history is being rewritten or not yes it's being rewritten though partially though it's not whole but partly and the changes are being made and the fair trade commissioner gave us a certificate so that was a certificate that I longed for a long time you know how I felt you know uh, the thief receiving a commendation from the head of uh, the police station was what I thought the persecutor was what I thought so those well the president uh, would give us a certificate well I won't go but a 
the commendation from the Fair Trade Commission. I went there myself to receive the award. So as I was shaking the hand, I said one thing. Well, Commissioner, don't worry a thing. The pyramid uh, networking marketing air, um, industry will do well because we are going to set a good example. Well, others will just shake their hands and leave the stage with, and they say something. But the uh, well, the journalist was asking me what I asked during uh, on stage. I said I uh, told him that we're doing well. So, however. At this kind of organizations, if they do like Atomy, will be a good example. And the, so there are even evaluations that says, uh, I hope that other companies will do good just as Atomy does. So if with the well certificate with our back, if we make some lots of victims and losses of more than tens of one hundreds of case of ones, then the fair trade commissioner, since you are the one who gave them the certificate, you should compensate my loss. Or do you think there are people who would say that? There will be people who say that. So what we should do is not make accidents or uh, make sure things are on track. So this whole market to be on a regular course and as a regular business to turn it into a regular business, that's what the uh, what's what we're doing, and the respected arm we also received the CCA accreditation, and other companies are requesting to receive the uh, approval. So Atomy is provoking changes. So histories are being rewritten at this point. At the Fair Trade Commission, the well, the leaders there don't meet the people in charge of the multi-level uh, marketing, but they are giving CC accreditation now. So this kind of changes are being made at the moment. So. If there are people in this room and who ha came with a thought in their mind that they will not pursue the net, uh, network marketing any longer, well, there might be people who think so. Uh, there might be people who lost their money while pursuing the business or people who uh, tried to commit a suicide and in Tegu. And well, there are people who um, will write off to China. Well, there are dark side of the history in the network marketing history. Well, there there are some risks that we ha will have to take. So to those who say so, just tell them that you're right. We are bad, and the direct marketing insiders are doing bad. But we're trying to do good. Atomy is changing. So tell them uh, in a, a low manner is with needed as well. So we have to be modest. Since my uh, son's teacher wanted to see me, there was time that I went there. So what does your father do? Was the question. Uh, I was uh, owner of a marketing network marketing. I was supposed to say it confidence that I am running a business and I was telling the members to never be shy but since I was in front of the uh, teacher, I told her I told the teacher of my uh, son that I am doing logistics then I f was ashamed so I turned my back and to the teacher of our baby, 
since I was not able, I was not able to、uh, say honestly what I do. But at the time my grandson is born, I was thought I should be able to say it in confidence what I, of what I do. So at school, where our、uh, grandson goes. Uh, the the people know that people all know that I am、uh, the CEO of、uh, network marketing. Would people envy me or curse me? Well, it depends on what, how we do. Well, that is litter. The people who can change the era, who can change time, will change the world. So rather than competing with other networking companies,、uh, we are to compete with other ordinary companies, like the, and we、uh, we started by proclaiming that we will win with an affordable price, such as the toothbrush. It's not an individual toothbrush. We were looking for something that won't break much, and maybe we should. And、there are people who use their toothbrush for more than six weeks. I mean, six months. But I think,、uh, since it's only tw- one thousand two hundred one, or it's about the ordinary one, that's about three thousand one, I think. But we sell it for one thousand two hundred one. Don't you think it's cheap or not? It's cheap. But and you receive every time you buy it. Is there anything wrong? No, there's nothing wrong.、Uh, well, using Atomy Dream itself is a win-win for me. So if I give you the information relatively, that's helping you, and I'm helping myself as well. So though people might not understand at this moment, we should not be shy of ourselves or be embarrassed. We should、uh, be confident. It's just that that person does not understand it at the moment. And there's cosmetics and health supplements, but the toothbrush is about half the price. But the cosmetic actually is about fifth one or seventh one. Well, there are high-end cosmetics from England. Well, it's been more than ten years since we have、uh, we have the same level of technology. So the Korean cosmetics technology,、uh, we have the nanotechnology in, and the IT, the radiation technology. So from the plant, we extract the harmful extracts. For in,、uh, but when we extract. We extract it by boiling the plant, and if、um, do you think you can put a lot inside the cosmetic or not? Because well, we are not able to put a lot in, but with the extracted extraction and. Put something sweet, and the stain went away. So we filled more than five hundred points. Then that we had it all over the news. Also, this RT technology—it's a patent. Korean cosmetics, Atomy Atomy Cosmetics uses the unique technology. So what does the fut- um the foreign、uh, companies have? We have the nanotechnology coating. We have the de-、uh, drug delivery system. It has it in absolute. Uh, and also those fractal making、um, cells, we targeted to make some white cells 
just because we over uh, apply it on face doesn't mean that it will have an effect but using the uh, magnetic field it uh, helps us to transmit uh, there are technologies that I can't even start with. So Korean products has uh, well ca catched up uh, with European GAPE advancement for some time. And now I would like to share with you a top secret in our in industry. The model did not become pretty because it used the product that it promotes. It's just that the model was born pretty. So uh, the model was chosen because of the beauty. But be while applying the product he or she um, promotes uh, the only product that make, improve, you can improve yourself through uh, product appliance is Atomy because all of you individuals are models of Atomy. So if you apply Atomy cosmetics and go out, people ask you, what did you do? Did you uh, take a plastic surgery? No, they will say that I just used the Atomy um, products. So the only product in terms of cosmetics that helps you improve yourself and also earn a commission is the Atomy. So why would we use an expensive other cosmetics? So this uh, absolute price, absolute quality. So we have to select and we have to sell it in a pri at a price that nobody can f cur um, follow. So uh, the people, even though they try to have it, they won't be able to. So um, it was about 770K. But now we have uh, downsized this to one-tenth. We were not able to downsize it at the first hand, so we um, downsized it one fifth at first and doubled the quantity. It was 30 percent, my uh, 42 sticks, mine AF 48, and now we have increased to 60 percent, and that's how we downsized the uh, price to one tenth. When I first met Han Mohim, the sales were only 500 boxes a month. If they manufacture 3,000 boxes, they need to sell it for a six month. So even though the price was uh, 770,000, it was deficit. So back then I met Kim Chi Bong CEO. I said that if you just sell 500 boxes a month, you could not make a living uh, because the sales was only 500. And then from now on, you need to manufacture 5,000 boxes a day. And then I will sell all of them. Don't worry. So I changed it into 5,000 boxes manufacturing a day. I said that I will sell 100,000 boxes a, m a month. If you calculate the cost, I will sell all of them. So I started to do it. Um, I started the mass production, uh, do the mass production. And he said that there are a lot of good herbal ingredient and herbal extract and they are so expensive, he said. So I answered, there are a lot of empty empty field and then you could you could grow the plants in that empty fields don't worry and i also said all of them are just roots it is only like uh, boiling all of the roots and make the extract and they said no it has like extraction techniques and we need to uh we need to make a lot of effort and a lot of researchers gather together and expanded uh, invested a lot of in, uh, expenditure to in, to develop the product and he's, he he replied like this so i answered no all of that are the sunken coast don't think about it because the com the the country already used that so don't think about it from now on you need to focus on the mass production from now on we will we will do the ultra mass production in order to lower the coast and then think about it which is better growing a, a carrot and radish or growing our herbal ingredients 
of course, uh, harvesting this herbal ingredient are easier because uh, this kind of herbal ingredient uh, are not really um, harmed by the insects and it doesn't need any uh, um, pesticide. So even in the infertile land, this kind of herbal ingredients could be grown. And then in, uh, in, th in this kind of startle land, they could survive. And in that kind of bad circumstances, the ingredients got better and better. So that I answered that we just, we just like spread the seed in the startle land. And then we could grow that herbal ingredient by themselves. So from now, from back then, it was only a small amount. But as time goes by, that amount increased a lot. So in the 10 tons of the tank, we put all of that um, herbal ingredient and we um, added and we combine all of that tanks by doing so I could lower the production cost so it has become the cheapest food and health um, health functional food the functionality is the best but but the cost is the lowest when I go to the discount store I drop by a lot of health functional food corners and there are a lot of products such as red ginseng and the herbal ingredient in the boxes are really huge because when uh, we give it as a gift uh, the bigger is the better so uh, but I, I didn't want to do, do that so I I downsize the boxes and I downsize all the things because I think that we need to also export it ab abroad in order to lower the delivery cost we need to make we need to downsize the boxes but at the same time most of the health functional foods cost about 150,000 but we have the price but the quality was whooping better in that, in that strategy, we, succeed, we succeeded and we achieved the absolute quality, absolute price at a meat product. Our products are just pioneering the market by themselves. Before we pioneered the European market, the product went there first. Pakistan, Bangladesh, we have a lot of members and the number of the members here was over 10 million. The problem is the tariff. So the problem is, to, uh, to, in order to solve the problem, we need to establish a branch and we, we can solve the product. But in that way, the cost will be doubled. So the Pakistan members want to purchase the product in the neighboring countries because it has no tariff. So they said that uh, we really want to establish the branch, but it we couldn't because of the tariff. But any, uh, anyways, these are the problems that we have. Anyways, we are now securing the solutions. As such, the product itself go first and pioneer the market by themselves. When I was in the European countries, they said that they are attracted by Atomy product because of the quality. Although there are a lot of good product in Europe. In the past, a lot of Korean people want European product, but now it's the opposite. European, product, European consumers are attracted and fascinated by Korean product for its quality. As such, globally, Atomy is now making another leap forward. Atomy is now rewriting the history of network marketing. And one of the contributions is that we have uh, unlimited level with no registration fee and no maintenance fee. If I think of this unlimited levels, you need to draw a bigger picture in your head. It means you are smart. But if you went to a prestigious school, but you cannot draw this picture, you need to think that you are not that much smart. And if you think that, oh, it is really good. And if you think like this, you are smart. Unlimited level is amazing because most of the network marketing company has the limited level. So it starts from me and the commission will go seven, eight, or 10 levels. So no matter how much commissions are made below that level, you cannot have any commission in that way you need to have uh, like a lot of smart people below me and then 
if you, I, I said already that it is an unlimited level and most of the smart people might get it already. Uh, and you are, if you are, if you are now considering whether to start it or not, you need to make your decision because it is unlimited level. No matter uh, you have smart people or not around you, it doesn't matter. If you are not smart, you, there will be a lot of not smart people around you. If, if you think that I'm not that much smart, but my neighboring people are also not smart, uh, don't worry, because it is unlimited level. So in your down lines, there might be some smart people. That's how we have Crown Master, who is only an elementary school graduate. We have five or more uh, Crown Master who are only elementary school graduates. He used to be a driver who dropped the bus to the Atomy Park, but when on, on his bus, he listened to the story of the Atomy and he was attracted by this business and he decided to start this business. As such, there are a lot of masters who, who are only elementary school graduates. And now his line expanded into Taiwan and the Taiwan line was like, expanded a lot and then it also has lead to uh, China and now in that line there is a crown master as such Kim Hyun Suk Imperial Master recently visited China and she found out that there is a crown master in China and she uh, like calculate a sponsor and she was the sponsor so she just cried a lot because she felt so sorry about it as a sponsor she did she did not she didn't do anything she didn't even understand and she didn't even like recognize that she has a partner in China, but that partner uh, grew and grew by herself and she became a crown master and Kim Young Suk Imperial Master felt, felt, so so felt so sorry for her. And all of this could be possible because we have the unlimited level. And we have the upper, li upper limit. So upper limit is about 100 million Korean won a month. So all of you, you must be happy for it because most of the front, uh, like first comers, are now making 100 million Korean won. And then if you, if time goes by, if there's no upper limit, they might have 1 billion Korean won in the past, but if since we have the upper limit, they will not get that amount. And even though you are coming right now, you have more possibility to get 100 million Korean won by yourself because there is an upper level, upper limit in the commission. So even though you came here later than the other, pe other, pe the other people, there is a still possibility to get uh, that huge amount by yourself and you're gonna meet them at the top. I think it's really a good news for all of you. You will get the same commission as the Imperial Master when time goes by. I already calculated it and I already understood that and I made this system for all of the people who came today. And everyone, do you think that it will be easier than you thought? Oh, no answer. For some of you, it might be easy. Because there are someone who said Atomy was the easiest one among he he's done so far. But some people might feel that it is the most difficult one. Because someone is really good at speech and understanding and the other have difficulties in understanding and speaking. And for them, it could be a little bit difficult, but all of, it be, all of that could be trained. And the um, biggest thing is that you need to grow your vision. You need to grow your dream. If you confront an obstacle in front of you, and most of the people want to escape that obstacle, want to downside the obstacle and focus on that obstacle. But that kind of obstacle could get, could, will go bigger as you focus and as you concentrate it. 
For example, if you hate someone, you don't need to focus on that the person you hate. You know, in your life journey, there might be a lot of obstacles, so don't just stick to it and just forget about it. And just imagine yourself. Imagine yourself uh, becoming an Imperial Master in the future. And then that person you hate will be will no longer an obstacle. And you, tr you started to think them think him or think her pity because as an imperial master you will be at the top and imagine yourself becoming an imperial master and from that moment the person you hate will be considered pity so if you want to be successful you need to grow the size of your vision and the will of the vision and if you're if you're if the size of the problem is like your feast if your dream is smaller than the feast uh, that obstacle will be considered bigger than your vision but if you grow the size of your vision no matter how big uh, the obstacle is you could just overcome it imagine if you make 100 million Korean won a month how much money you are earning a day Please calculate it. You need to good at uh, you need to be good at calculating if you want to be successful. For example, it is about making three million to four million Korean won a day. Every day. Yesterday you make three million Korean won. Today you are making another three million won. Every day you will make three hundred three million Korean won, and it will be one hundred million Korean won a month. So if you are dreaming this kind of future. Even though you might, you are, you have a lot of obstacles. For example, I'm really sleepy. I don't feel good. The weather is not good. You will, you should not speak about that, and you you should not make an excuse. Forks, forks. It is about making three million kren won a day. Please call them and. If you, if if your friends or if your partners don't come here, please let them know that oh, you missed the opportunity to make three million Korean won a day. A day. So everyone, once again, please enlarge the size of the vision, and then no matter how difficult obstacle you confront, you will overcome all of that. So don't expect that. it will be easy. You could be successful because you grow the size of your vision. And, but there is one problem that is about investment. I'm not talking about financial investments. You need to invest your time. For example, if you earn, if you open a restaurant or if you open an office, you need to invest it some money. And then in that case, you might be afraid of losing all of the money you invested. But in anatomy, we don't invest money. So some of you might not be really afraid of it. So I think I might have, I might get 100 million won uh, for you, from you to make you feel afraid of being failure. Uh, anyways, I don't your money because I'm rich enough. As such, you need to start this business thinking like you are investing huge amount of money already. For example, if you invested one billion Korean won, you need to start early in the morning and you need to run your office all day long. So, for example, for yourself, your mouth itself could be your office. If your mouth is working and if your mouth is speaking, it means that your your office is opened. And if you stop speaking, it means that your office is closed. Imagine that. If you shut your mouth a day, it means that you close your office a day. As such, you need to speak a lot like you open your own office. And you need to at least open your office for on eight hours a day. A lot of public officer officers also work at least eight hours a day. As such, you need to speak at least eight, eight hours a day. You need to be extreme. You know, the um, slogan of this year is be excellent or be extreme. As such, you need to be extreme and you need to work at least eight hours a day. Public officers 
Don't say that they are extreme because they only work eight hours a day. Most of the uh, public officials um, don't tend to be really extreme. They go to work on time and they go to home at time. In order to make much more money than public officials, you need to work harder than them. So I mean that you need to work more than them. It means that you need to work more than eight hours a day in order to be successful. Sometimes uh, eight hours might not enough. In that case, you need to be more extreme. It means that you need to uh, you need to lower, like reduce your sleeping hours. Most of the early, uh, like mo most of the pioneers did like this. Most of the people had bad voice because they talked too much. One imperial master said that I went to a center for the first time and there were already a lot of people at the center and the next day he came earlier than that and there were more people in there and he came one hour earlier than that and there were also the people and they said that how come he said how come you came so early and they answered oh we didn't go to home yesterday as such he could become an imperial master like this he worked harder than anyone else and if you have more downliners, you need to work even more, even harder. And then you need to make your determination in order to be an imperial master. Do you think I am doing my best or not? Actually, I'm doing all my best. I tra when I traveled Europe this time, I had some ache. I caught a cold and I was accompanied by my wife and my wife didn't eat a meal because she also had a stomach ache. But although we were all sick in a seminar, I need to be really energetic because I need to motivate all of the all of them. So I like like this, I shouted like this and I screamed like this. I'm doing all my best. So at the night time I will come back to the stage at the talk show. And every week, I mean every month, we have the success week. And at next Friday, what do we have? We have the revival meeting. You should be there. We do that at the Kungju headquarters at 10.30 for about a whole day. Why do you have to be there? Because you'll be able to learn about all the principles of the management system at to me. It come, it's rooted down from the Bible. And will you not die if you become an um, imperial or not? Of course you will die. Will the chairman die or not? Yes, the chair, a chairman will perish as well. Those one succeed, one, though one has a lot of money, everybody will die. But in the Bible, it says that the creator himself said, he had two plans for his creations. This is the top secret of the Bible. One secret is what you have, the bios. We call it as bio. So we have the bio life given by the Lord. But what's the problem? It ends in about a hundred years. But why do you want to become an imperial? Why do you have to earn money? Then why do you have to want um, raise for the go for the higher goal? Well, of course, as we are living here and we have our children, we have the parents that we love. So that's why we have to succeed. Well, that um, promise has been given to us, but th there's another blessing that he promised. That's the second life. The Lord is keep trying to give us a second life. If there is someone who thinks that I, I go to church, but I don't think the Lord is blessing me that much, then what do you have to check again? 
is did you earn that second life or not because the Lord does not give blessing to a person that will die soon because so the Lord has not given a second life to those who would die soon so earning that second life is the only goal you should have in life so I have an experience of earning that second life that is so precious to me that experience so with that promise I am living my life that's why when I was in Europe as I was doing the atomic business I always have the revival meeting in Turkey though it's a Muslim based country I um, well gathered some people and with the pastor that speaks that language we had the revival meeting so what is the important thing what's important because there are ones that we love at this um, first life we should have some capital success but we should accept the God's second life and that is through his gospel his words are the spirit and the second life so at the Garden of Eve, it, there were not only fruits of truth. The Lord came as he was to the earth. And with his death, a lot of fruits were bared. And he, gave, he shared with us the eternal life. And how are we to receive that? It's through the words of the Lord, the Bible. So what uh, we are trying to will make our research on the Bible. Let us make our messi oh, well our research and learn about the Lord. So next Friday at the Atomy Park HQ, I hope to see you all. I'll see you all at the night. Thank you very much. 구독, 좋아요 눌러주세요.